Welcome to the video where I'm gonna cut all of my hair off. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, as you will have seen by the title, as you will have seen by the thumbnail, I'm actually gonna cut all of my hair off. And it's not clickbait, I actually am cutting it off. And I'm not gonna tell you exactly where I'm gonna cut it to or like what style I'm going for, but believe me when I say there are inches and inches, even feet, I think, that are gonna come off my head. It's gonna be quite a drastic change, especially given the fact that since I've had my YouTube channel, I've had pretty long hair. It goes like down to here, like down to where my boobs are. She is pretty long, she's pretty lengthy, but she's actually pretty dead. And I'm just sick of it, like I need a change. And since short hair's come back in, I thought why not? And I actually did have hair like up to here. I think it was five years ago. I thoroughly enjoyed it, like I loved it so much. So it's gonna be a very interesting transformation. That being said, I'm not just gonna transform my hair in this video. I'm gonna do like a full glow up because I just need it. Like I'm gonna do my eyebrows, I'm gonna do my nails because I do my nails at home. I'm gonna do my hair, we're gonna do some face masks. If it was up to me, I would actually get my Botox redone because it's been two years. But I'm sorry, I'm not paying 500 Swiss francs for Botox when it literally costs like 100, 150 in England. There's just no way, I'm not gonna do that to myself. So we're gonna have to do without that, which is fine. We're gonna have like a tanning session together. I'm gonna have an everything shower. I can't wait, like I love everything showers. So without further ado, we're gonna start off with the nails today. Tomorrow, we're gonna get the hair done. So stick around for that. But anyway, I'm not gonna make this intro any longer. Let's crack on into it. It. let's get these dusty crusty nails done and then let's rush and get our hair done tomorrow i actually don't really know what color i want to do my nails my sister-in-law bought me a entire kit to do my nails like i have all the different color gels all the like nail instruments and everything anything i could possibly need including these little things where you can put all the colors on these are the ones that i have i don't know because i've got this really milky like white one, which I think would be really cute. Or I'm really loving this brown at the moment. I'm gonna go brown, autumn vibes, you know? Also don't mind the fact I'm literally in pajamas at three o'clock in the afternoon. But as I mentioned, I've kind of prepared them. They're not the nicest nails in the world. I'm very aware of that. But you know, once they're painted, they will look fine. I'm just gonna really quickly push the cuticles back ever so slightly because I don't really need doing that much. And then I'm just gonna buff the nail a little bit so that it holds the gel a little bit better. Obviously, if there's a rougher surface, it's not gonna like peel off or slide off as quickly because that's something that I always found when I did my gels before that I struggled with was just the fact that they peeled off all the time. Gonna make the surface a little bit rough. Obviously, yeah, it's not great for your nails, so it's probably not best to do it all the time and definitely good to leave your nails, you know, a few days breathing room sometimes. She says as if she's a nail expert. I have no idea what I'm doing. Normally it works and normally it looks cute. So that's all that matters. Also, if you are interested in getting similar stuff, the little UV light, for example, you can get on Amazon. Same with Biabs. I bought myself a little thing of Biab for when I want to do Biab, but I'm not gonna do Biab today because I'm not sure I've got time. We are gonna go in with a base coat. I've just got these Miley My Gel ones. I've got the base coat, I've got the top coat, and then I've got the V Shine gels. Right, there we go. I don't even know if you can see that, but obviously they just look a little bit rough. And then I'm just putting it in this to cook. I've actually been watching some YouTube at the same time as doing my nails because otherwise it gets pretty boring. But the first hand is done. They're pretty clean looking, I can't lie. Uh, mm, actually, we're gonna do another coat. Be right back. Right, I've finished my first hand. I know they're little, but they're really cute. The short nails are in. They're cute, they're clean. So base coat, three color, top coat. And now I'm gonna do the other one, which is the hardest hand for me to do because it's my writing hand. So I have to do it with my left hand. Guys, I am just curing the top coat on my last hand. Well, my second hand. 
and then I will be all done. It's actually 3.43 in the afternoon and I have to run to school for my last lesson of the day. I literally had a five hour break between my first and my last lesson. So I've got a lesson now from 4.30 to 6.30, which clearly means I need to run. I've got the train in just under 10 minutes and I'm still curing my nails, but priorities, and I'm sure I'll get there. At least I hope so, but I'm probably gonna leave today's section here for now. Obviously, I'm super, super happy with my nails. I think they are just the perfect like, short nail vibe, and it's just super easy. Like, it took me an hour, granted. It's not the quickest process in the world, but it's easy, it's cheap. And some of my friends in Geneva were actually saying that they paid between 60 and 120 Swiss francs for their nails. Ooh. Bear in mind, in England, when I lived in Manchester, I used to pay 30, 35 max. I can't fathom spending 60 to 120 on nails. Like, I'm sorry, even if I was getting acrylics, which I used to, I just could not spend that amount of money. Fair play to those that can, but I can't bring myself to do that. So I'm gonna keep on being a cheap ass, doing them at home. But as I was saying, I need to run now, obviously. So I will catch you tomorrow for my hair. How exciting. And that is the second hand done as well. So I feel like this one's a bit lighter. I can always do another layer tonight. Guys, it's the next day and I'm about to go get my hair cut. So well, cut and dyed. Obviously I've shown you what it's like. I'm pretty sure if you've watched my videos before, you're very aware of how long my hair is. My appointment's actually in six minutes. It's at one o'clock. I'm so nervous. I really hope they don't fuck it up. I really actually pray to the gods that they don't fuck it up. I know there's bigger problems in the world. There's much bigger problems than my hair. Anyways, let's go. Just know that it get better over time They say time heals She can't see her life without me She's so blind still Fuck that nigga You can tell him that you're mine still And she don't wanna go to sleep She angry Lately she been noticing he ain't me that we can change places Don't want no new, new faces She got my heartbeat racing They say time heals Don't go build a life without me Cause you mine still I feel like this is a bit cuter Than what I wanted Cute girl eyes, but it's so like chic and fresh and I love it so much. So happy with it, it's such a massive change. She did such a good job, like this little wave situation. I think most days, to be honest, I am gonna have to like curl it, straighten it, style it. That's just the thing with short hair, like it's nice, but it has to be styled. It's just exactly what I wanted, I'm so happy with it. She did ask me if I wanted to donate my hair, and I did want to, but it was a little bit dead and a little bit crusty, and she was like, to be honest, babe, no one's gonna want that. Slay, we love it. I'm actually just waiting for Tom to get home from work and I'm gonna get his like live reaction. I might try and like keep it in here, keep the camera in here and just like put you here. Cause then you can see, right? Well, let's hope he likes it. He knows I'm getting it cut, but I've not sent him like any pictures. So <laughs> look at it. Good morning everyone. It's actually the next day. So the last clip you will have seen is yesterday when I got my hair done and obviously got Tom's reaction to it. I mean, his reaction was good, but I was waiting for it to be great. Do you know what I mean? But he did buy me some flowers, which is really cute and very much appreciated. But I, I, I am... That doesn't prove to you that I need something with caffeine in. I don't know what does. I've got my matcha here. I'm gonna make it now. That'll do. I don't know how to show you. Like that. Right, now that this is nicely mixy mixed, I'm gonna put a drop of caramel in. And then you have your matcha. And obviously, you mix it. Yummy. Back in the bathroom. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was planning on fake tanning in this video, 
but A, it's pissing down with rain outside, so... And second of all, I've just looked at my tan, and I really don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but what on earth is floating in there? Like, what? That is not normal at all, and when you shake it, it doesn't come out. This was my go-to, because it's so good like it doesn't transfer the color is like super bronzed it's not like orange or anything like that and it's not like i don't know like it's not red toned and it's not green toned it's just like a perfect tan color but i can't use that i don't really know what the floaty bits are and it kind of just looks completely moldy so that's not going on my body we're gonna do an everything shower except hair it was washed yesterday but we do need to style the hair because it's kind of giving Dora the Explorer at the moment. It's not the vibes. Let's just have a shower and see where we get to after. Right, that is shower complete. I have just moisturized as well because I'm not gonna get back naked in front of all of you. I'm kind of flicking between these two at the moment. One is the Nivea, it's called like five in one hydro milk situation. And one is the Aveeno. This is just the classic Aveeno. This is great when I feel like my skin needs even more like oil do you know what i mean and this one's great for just like general nourishing both of these are great if you're on accutane or if your skin's really dry i really have to take care of my skin at the moment because otherwise it just gets crusty and it's not very nice and then as you guys probably know by now my favorite for my face is the tatcha dewy skin cream this is very oily if you've already got oily skin or if you're not a fan of like a really dewy makeup look, that's not going to be for you. But I love this so much. It's the only moisturizer I can use on my face at the moment that doesn't result in me having like crustiness. An absolute holy grail of mine. I don't know if it's going to work for me when I come off Accutane. I know there's one that's more sort of water-based. There's like a water cream, I think. So maybe I'll have to switch to that one after. But for the time being, this is chef's kiss i've literally gone through all of my drawers and to try and find a face mask i actually can't find one which is mega embarrassing like what girl doesn't have a face mask i have these from like look fantastic boxes this is the star skin dream kiss plumping and hydrating biocellulose lip mask blimey that is a mouthful this, this one here i've never done a lip mask my crusty dusty lips could probably do with it and then i've got these crystal collagen gold Hyaluronic eye masks. Oh, that feels nice. I feel like this with gold is a little bit bougie. You know certain like eye masks are really like sloppy. This one is not sloppy at all. And it's quite cool as well. Although what I would recommend if you want it to be really cooling is, is my shower dripping, is to just chuck it in the fridge before you put it on and it will really, really calm down any puffiness in the morning. And then obviously, whilst we're at it, let's chuck on the lip mask. I feel like that's not what it's meant to... Ah, wait. Sorry, my lips are not that big. <laughs> right, I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes because that's what it says I need to do. This is majorly slipping off, so we'll see what I end up looking like at the end of this. And I'm also going to put my camera on charge because she's flashing at me. And then we're going to do a little gua sha routine, but here we go. Right, as I mentioned, we were going to do a bit of gua sha. So I cannot remember for the life of me when I got this. I would be lying if I said I did this every single day. I definitely don't. I probably can't be bothered most days. But do you know what? I'll probably do this like three times a week. And I know you get best results if you do it every day, but it's lymphatic drainage. So normally I do see quite good results from it because I'm not going to lie. I do wake up and I'm really quite puffy. This is a great help. What I will say is if you're like me and you just store this in your cupboard, wash it every single time before you start like scraping and everything. It likely stores loads of like bacteria and germs and not nice stuff on. So make sure you wash it every single time. I know you're meant to use face oil. I use a really sort of oily moisturizer. I'm not gonna lie. I just get better results from it. Actually feels so nice as well. This area of my neck for some reason gets really tight. I don't know if it's from sleeping or like what the situation is, but just a little bit of pressure and massage down there is like, wow feels really good. Right, 
there we go one thing i will say about my moisturizer this one here is that i do not put this anywhere near my eyebrows or my eyes because then i find that my brow soap and stuff this is the pink honey glue i find that if i put the tatcha cream too close to my eyebrows or even over my eyebrows this just doesn't stick probably because the moisturizer has so much oil in it but so what I normally do when I'm getting ready is I'll actually put my moisturiser and SPF and everything on after I've done my eyebrows. Right, brows are done, which means touch of cream, obviously. This does come with a spatula, but I kind of forget about it every single time and end up just using my hands. I feel like I could so do a Vogue, like, get ready with me style video in this in this bathroom then Rianne did it first so I don't want to copy her idea I'll have to ask her the most important part of a skin and makeup routine I'm still using the Roche Posay and Thelios sun cream this works really well for me to be honest I used it on all my holidays I used it when I was in LA it doesn't leave like a white cast underneath your makeup which is perfect I don't feel like it breaks me out either obviously sun creams are very subjective to the person there's so many that break me out which other people are like oh, no these are so good so obviously don't take my word for it I definitely test it out first especially if you have like a big event or something like that I wouldn't just whack this on straight away. But for me, it's worked really well. I feel like my makeup goes on pretty good over the top. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't go on as good as if I didn't have any sort of sun cream on. Like the key thing for me is waiting like a good five, 10 minutes to let my moisturizer and my sun cream sink in because otherwise there's just too much like oil on my face you know that's the skincare done as i said nothing too complicated i literally just moisturize obviously wash my face this is my cleanser of the moment it's the cerave blemish control one then i use the sunscreen and that's literally it at the moment i'm kind of excited to come off accutane so i can spice up my skincare routine again but at the same time i don't know if i need to i don't know if there's actually any need to have like a seven step skincare routine or whether that's just a bit extra again very subjective down to the person but i'm gonna go away and do my makeup obviously as i said i don't want to do a full get ready with me section in here because i'll do that in a separate video so my makeup is done and i actually feel quite put together actually which was the whole point of this glow up but i do want to tuck in some curls into my hair really really quickly um maybe not because my barrel seems to be broken Oh my god, that means all of my hair tools are broken. My hair dryer hasn't survived the move. My curler hasn't survived the move. Let's see if a hairband can save the day. Why do I look like Velma from Scooby-Doo? Why can I not make hairbands look like cute? What the hell? What the fuck? All my friends are like proper in their headband girly era. I can't figure out if that looks cute or if I look like a grandma. No. Do you know what? We tried. Headbands are not for me. Gonna be a half up, half down moment. I also need to leave the house now to go pick up my friend for the match. But I think that is gonna be glow up complete. I, I definitely feel more snatched. I feel like the hair transformation has been successful. I really hope you guys like it as much as I do. I've had some people say that it looked better before, but I do actually have a haul coming out next. It's a big, juicy, fat Zara haul. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm gonna have to leave this video here because I do have to run off, but I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.